Good evening. Welcome to the Count Cooks of Comis Magirevi Metamuxikis. Season 3, Episode 6. Cheers. Raise a toast to your Gothic host. Today, after many requests that uh, more or less demanded something Greek, I decided to do um, a popular English, uh, popular sorry, Greek dish, but with uh, ethnic touches. You know, so it's got a lot of uh, Indian uh, origins, but uh, it's a very popular Greek dish as well. It's vegetarian, it's very healthy, it's got lots of protein, it's got lots of iron, it's a superfood, and it's spinach with basmati rice, with salt, pepper, turmeric, curcumas, um, uh, onions, garlic, and that's it. So plain, a little oil as well. And it's of excellent taste super taste i guarantee it you do that you cook it and you tell me if you like it or not well let's uh, start uh, the cooking but in the meantime i have to tell you that today i have three different kind of bands from the 80s of course we have death in june we have uh, killing joke and we have flesh for lulu Flesh for Lulu is Roman Candle, uh, Killing Joke is uh, Requiem from the first album that includes War Dance and so forth, and uh, the other one is uh, Death in June, is, uh, I can't remember the title, but I think, yeah, it's Calling Marked 2, the, the, the second version of it. Uh, so, we start as usual with... Um, uh, turning on the heat so the oil can give us the right temperature and in the meantime I'm gonna start the first song because this uh, dish has a lot of um, waiting actually for you will see uh, there's not much cooking to it but there's a lot of waiting for the rice to be cooked so we will start with the first song which uh, for this time for the first the first song i chose to be let's see killing joke and requiem <laughs> Band. So many good songs, 80s, Love Like Blood, so many. Influenced lots of bands on the way. So this is the onion we have. You can chop it thicker if you like. Uh, that's uh, two medium uh, onions and uh, three cloves of garlic. Wow, <laughs> smell is great. You know, cooking is simple. Just 
just have to think it through before you start it. the spinach which is raw I haven't boiled it I want to do it straight from the beginning just uh, rinse it through uh, fresh leaves but got all the water out so it's like pretty solid don't want it that, like a soup. We're gonna add water later when we put the rice in. Great! Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. A little bit of uh, saute for the spinach. It's very easy. It's uh, so much, so good for you. You can use it as a side dish, but you don't have to cook, uh, you know, one kilo. You can use a lot less, but uh, not with the rice. With the rice is a proper main dish. Right, <coughs> what we do now, we'll add what I've uh, measured before, one and a half cup of uh, water. which we need because we're gonna have to add the rice which I haven't cooked either so it's a solid 14 minutes for the rice if you do it on pressure cooker it's much quicker but you have to be very very careful if you don't get it precisely uh, it can be either, you know, in the right temperature, it can be either too um, raw, you have to do it again, you have to keep uh, cooking it, I mean, or it will be too quick, too fast, too fast and uh, be stuck in the bottom of the pressure cooker. So this is a better way of doing it because you can see it, you can time it better. And you have control over the the heat. So far, so good. One last ingredient, which is a very, very important ingredient, is turmeric, curcuma. Nice soft yellow yellowy color. 
and um, once you start boiling and I'm under the impression that it might need a little bit more water as well as a bit more turmeric of course as I said all the quantities are guesswork mostly from experience depending if you cook it in a pressure cooker or in an open pan like this one it does make a difference yep definitely need more water you see the ratio for water if you have the rice is um, double if you put like uh, one cup of rice it's two cups of water uh, I put three quarters of a cup and so it's supposed to be one and a half cup of water but obviously we have um, the onion we have the spinach so we have to allow a little bit more quantity wise just by looking at it you can tell that it needs a little bit more or a little bit less now I'm going to put a little bit more turmeric and uh, let me remind you I've said it before, I'll say it again somebody might be just uh, watching their first video for turmeric yet curcuma to be absorbed by the body because turmeric contains 5% curcumini which is the main ingredient for the body to to absorb it you need to put you need to uh, add pepper black pepper to your dish otherwise your body just rejects it so you eat a superfood for no reason I didn't know about it until a few months ago nobody is born knowing everything so you know when I get an information like that I always tell the people I should be telling so you know there you go if you knew fine if you didn't know start doing it this way otherwise it's like you're not uh, you're not tasting you're not taking the full advantage of uh, the ingredient right let's put the lid on let's start with 10 minutes and we'll see how it goes so let's go ahead with our second song In this case is the calling from Death in June. Oh, 
for a lot of people. Let's have a seat. Cheers. one started which is the last one we'll start in a minute a lot of people ask me I wanted to answer that uh, for a long time now what is it with the 80s well I'll tell you what is it with the 80s τι γίνεται με αυτά τα 80s γιατί τόσος κόσμος του αρέσουν τα 80s και 80s and 80s ακόμα συνέχεια για 80s they're always talking about 80s because I'll tell you why it was an era between 78-79 to about 89 90, 10-11 years around there, that everything, 
everything happened. The whole lot of different kinds of music happened. For example, uh, punk, glam rock, post-punk, disco, goth, dark wave, new wave, new romantics, you name it, it, it happened in, in that frame of uh, 78 to 88, 90. 10, 12 years maximum, everything was everywhere, you know? Um, that's, why, that's why it makes it so interesting. If you were, uh, if you lived or heard about um, the 80s, that's why people like them so much. And if, if you uh, listen to a song in, uh, you know, watch it in YouTube or something, and you see some comments underneath, you'll see that lots of people say, for example, oh, my father used to um, listen to that and played it for me and I love it and I still love it. And, you know, um, it's like timeless uh, masterpiece. They, 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 they name different songs, masterpieces and, and, uh, and so forth, you know. Um, lots of great, great bands. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know where to start and where to finish. Uh, you know, name-wise, you know, from uh, Pistols to, <laughs> you know, to Bauhaus, from uh, like, um, I don't know, uh, from uh, modern type of disco music to the Sweet and Enslaved to. Um, Joy Division and Cure and and New Order. I mean, it's 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 endless. It's uh, that's why that's why people like the eighties. Even if they didn't live it, they heard from others. They 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 try to listen to 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 those uh, the songs from that that era. That's why they still like them. That's why they still, you know, they they, they wish they were back there, or they wish they could relive it, or they wish they could um, be a revival or something. Because the music nowadays, you know. Don't get me wrong, there's some good bands, but if you really think about it, all the bands that are still good are the old ones. I mean, Bauhaus, 42 years. Um, you know, Alice Cooper, uh, Rolling Stones even, in Hyde Park, they did a great, uh, great show. Um, the bands that are really worth it, they stay, um, you know, they're immortal. They stay in, in, in our memories and in our kids' memories and in everybody's memories for years to come. Some other bands that they come up and play, you know, make a hit single or something, or they uh, get into a bandwagon of some of some kind of music that uh, in a couple of years nobody will remember. It's you know, it's not gonna live. It's um, it's not gonna do well. It is nothing to keep in uh, mind, you know. Let's play our third song, Flash for Lulu. Very diversified music uh, styles today, but all from the same era. Roman Candle, just in time. Another great band, unfortunately they didn't do the career they're supposed to, to have done. Great singer, another Daniel Ash look-alike, like me. You see their videos, you'll see what I mean. Flesh for Lulu. Roman candle. This time I will taste. <laughs> Maybe because I had it on the speaker. Maybe because I had it on the speaker and it started, you know. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, have to go back. Sorry about that. You know, it's uh, there's no editing, so it's one take, and uh, things like this happen.
go what I tasted like. <laughs> Nothing is gone 100% according to plan. Always some some mis mishap. Um, <laughs> last time uh, wa there was no um, uh, pilogos. There was no uh, closing um, comment in my last video. Suddenly, while I was turning the the laptop, uh, the music uh, stopped. Not the music, sorry. The the camera went blank you know there's no pause so nobody touched it to pause it it's just like um, I don't know and after five minutes it was working who knows who knows what happened but uh, you know that's the that's why in the, in the studios you see something and uh, you see it was perfect but in reality before it became perfect there were so many takes so here we don't have that luxury it's just one take so whatever happens it will happen in that take that's the beauty of it i think that's the, that's the, the amateur kind of it as you know and i will say it again i don't make any money out of it i don't have a sponsor there is no um, placement of products then it was it's um, and uh, I do that because I love cooking and I love good 80s, mostly 80s music. There's lots of 90s stuff that I like, but uh, that's for another time. This is ready in a couple of minutes. It will be ready and I will present it to you and then you will see the photographs. And I owe you a uh, Roman candle by um, Flesh for Lulu. And what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll uh, post the, vid uh, the video uh, on uh, Facebook later, so you can see the whole song. Or you can look it up for yourselves. You know, I've said the title enough times, the name of the group enough times. But if I can do it later, uh, if I remember, because I've got so many things to do, I'll try and do it myself. So... Let's prepare. Let's see. Oh yes. Definitely ready. I knew I forgot something. I knew I forgot something. Of course. Lemon juice. One and a half lemon of lemon juice. As well as... And the reason I forgot is because I had it in the fridge. but and don't forget that when you use lemon 
or orange or something juice for like I use today always need a bit of a skin as well it gives it an extra zest definitely not just the juice but a little bit of the skin via grater it gives it a great great taste and of course so this is our spinach with supreme basmati rice spanakorizo but with touches of uh, Indian way of cooking and actually the Indians cook it um, in India they cook it with lots of um, water uh, it's not as dry as I make it but uh, once I taste it in a restaurant I asked them uh, every time I used to go there I asked them to do it to do a dry version of it and I liked it so much and I did it myself that's it no ifs or buts about it no deco nothing just uh, you can use uh, you can eat it with a uh, yogurt as a side dish yeah, that's a wonderful dish This is it, spinach, I'm not going to describe it again, I've said enough times. So let's try and end this video. I haven't even checked how long, 32 minutes, my god, that's what life live is there you go now that's with my glasses where I can see what I'm doing so raise the toast to your gothic host season 3 episode 6 another video comes to an end I have to rush it a little bit because I don't want it to go too 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 long so um ο κόμις μαγειρεύει τα μουσικής σας εύχεται καλό Σαββατοκύριακο ότι απέμεινε από αυτό uh, have a great Sunday, whatever you do, be good, if you can't be good, be careful, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Cheers, as you can see, still no tattoos, plenty of rings, but no tattoos. See you soon, come and see me in the shop and say hi, that's enough for me. Bye now. Thanks for watching, and please write a comment, don't forget to write a comment, it only takes a minute.